when I'm talking to my people, right? Because right. I come from the black church. I grew up national Baptist, right? <laughs> so late night, uh, you know, late night preaching uh, at national Baptist convention. That's how I grew up, you know? So I talk to my people a lot about this particular topic. And whenever I draw parallels between the struggle of black people and the struggle of Q plus people, black people go nuts. They want to burn me at the stake and they <laughs> want to bring up every single difference. Like, you can't compare that. You can't compare that. And I say, wait, wait, hold up a second. First of all, black people don't own oppression. That's number one. Yes, we have been severely oppressed, but we don't own oppression. Number two, yes, there are differences between the oppression of black people and the oppression of gay people. But let's pause for a second and recognize some people have been oppressed in both ways. Right. Let's not forget Q plus people are black people oftentimes. So we 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 ostracize and isolate and alienate our people who are also Q plus. And then the other thing that I have to bring up here, with all of these differences between the oppression of black people and the oppression of Q plus people, the differences do not negate the similarities. Yep. I'm gonna say that again. The differences do not negate the similarities one more time for the people in the back. <laughs> Say it. The differences do not negate the similarities. Here is the basic core similarity of how black people have been discriminated against and how Q plus people have been discriminated against. We are both oppressed for a characteristic of ourselves over which we have no choice. A black person does not get to choose to be black. A gay person does not choose to be gay. You don't choose your sexuality. You discover it. You discover, oh, this is what I like. And you lean into that discovery. It's a, and it's not, a, it's not a preference. It's an orientation. So we have to be careful with how we just completely dismiss when Q plus people help to identify the the oppression by by making that that parallel or building that bridge between what black people experience and what Q plus people experience. And, and one thing I'm going to say, and I'm, I'm I'm gonna let you jump in, Grayson. Yeah. Here's one major difference between the oppression of black people and the oppression of Q plus people that actually leans in the favor of Q plus people in the black community. Our oppression has always been from outside of our community. Mm. We could always go into our community, into our homes and find a safe haven because our oppression came from white people on the outside. In the Q plus community, you are oppressed by your own family more times than not. It's the people who raised you. It's the people who baptized you. It's the people who christened you. It's the people who fed you, who then disown you and tell you that you're dead to them. That is a level of diabolical oppression that black people who are not gay cannot relate to. So.